This was WWECW. Michael. Oh. Well, uh, once again, I would like to thank all of you for this lovely topic that we now get to go over for the next, hopefully, uh, 10 minutes or less. Uh, hopefully five. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tony Atlas was brought in as a special guest referee here. I believe it was 2008. Yeah. It was an ECW episode. It was a match between Tommy Dreamer and Mark Henry. Tommy Dreamer had Colin Delaney as his uh, escort at ringside. Who could forget that legendary career? Everybody. Colin Delaney was out there with Tommy Dreamer. Um, uh, Atlas was a special guest referee. Ended up attacking Delaney, uh, in which uh, Dreamer was distracted enough for Mark Henry to get the win. Uh, then, even though it was a double count out or whatever it ended up being, Atlas declared Mark Henry the winner. And from then on, he was associated with Mark Henry as his manager. Travis, what did you think of this uh, <laughs> of this association here, Mark Henry with Tony Atlas? First of all, WWE ECW is all you need to know. How much of that did you watch back in the day? Not much. Same. That was the equivalent to a main event, Superstars. I mean, it was a quick show, so I mean, you, you, it wasn't bad. They had some good stuff on there. You had you had Big Daddy V. <laughs> Mark, you know, Mark Henry was on there. You Finley. Bobby Lashley got his start there. Ezekiel Jackson, the last ECW champion. Paul Burchill. Ugh, hurricane. Um, for what it's worth, I liked Mark Henry as a heel. This was the seeds of Mark Henry getting that amazing um, Hall of Pain gimmick in 2011 with that World Title one. But we were a long ways away from that. This was them kind of giving baby steps for Mark Henry as the ECW champion. Yeah, they were trying to see if he could be a viable champion, and the way to do that back then was to put him on ECW and see if they could carry the load on that little baby show. That little baby show. <laughs> <laughs> um, we all know how WWE ECW turned out. It was nothing like ECW. It, was a, it shit the bed, an understatement. It made Paul Heyman quit. It was so bad. I can understand giving Mark Henry a mouthpiece. I really do. I can really understand that. But can we give a guy a mouthpiece who is... You can understand what the fuck he's saying, for one. If you're going to be a mouthpiece, I feel like a requirement should be speaking coherently. And I don't feel like Tony Atlas passed those uh, requirements. Now, I guess they, you know, World's Strongest Man, Mark Henry. The, I, I see why they did the association. There. Because in the 80s, the World's Strongest Man gimmick was Tony Atlas. He was Mr. USA. Yeah, Saba Simba. He, he was always ripped to shreds, obviously not naturally. But um, I see why they did the association. I mean, other than Vince being, you know, closet racist, they're both black and they're both huge. They both lift weights. Let's put them together. I would have rather Ken Patera came back out of retirement oh. to manage Mark. No, wait, I take that back. You want him to be a mouthpiece? <laughs> Did he ever get through an interview without we all, Gene having to start laughing? We all know that infamous Ken Patera promo. I, this was awful. This was terrible. This was so. This made it to SummerSlam on pay per view. Mark Henry versus Matt Hardy for the ECW title. Mark Henry retained by disqualification after Tony Atlas interfered. I can't believe that sentence just made its way out of my mouth, but it did. <laughs> that actually happened. Now, Matt Hardy would eventually take the title off of Mark Henry. Scramble which, match. Which led, remember the scramble match? I remember. I like those matches. Bring they them back. Have, yeah, championship yeah. scrambles. When guys like, like Brian Kendrick can have the belt for five seconds. Remember that? That happened. I have that DVD, actually. That's Unforgiven right. 08. That's Sc right. Scrambled that, eggs. That was a, <laughs> scrambled eggs, baby. <laughs> but um, Matt Hardy would eventually get the belt off of Mark Henry, which led to Mark Henry being drafted to Raw, which is how this partnership kind of ended up being broken um, because Tony Atlas did not come with him to Raw. I guess he didn't pass the checklist for Raw creative. Yeah. So Shocker. I, I don't know how he, he couldn't get on Raw. I but, know. Jesus. But then... Little he guy. resurrected himself. A little guy from, literally a little guy from OVW was brought up by the name of Abraham Washington. You know, guy that, that was shit canned over the infamous Kobe rape joke. Correct. He had his own parody late night talk show, the Abraham Washington show. Now, for what it's worth, we watched a clip of this, okay? Abraham Washington with Mark Henry, not awful. The segment was awful, who they had on with Gregory Helms and, and Paul Burch. Abraham Washington with Tony Atlas, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Abraham Washington was actually very charismatic. I had thought he had great heel heat. I liked the concept. But I feel like somebody backstage heard Tony Atlas's laugh and was like, we got to get that on TV. Uh, I'm pretty sure they all knew his laugh was retarded. I mean, I guess that's the wrong word to use. Yeah, don't. Yeah. But, but they all knew his, <laughs> his, his laugh was um, unique. We'll, we'll say it that way. Did you give it to him? His one, special. Two, three. 
<laughs> oh my god! Now, if, the first Your girlfriend's couple, probably sitting out there. Yeah, she's so sick of that already. Now, the first couple times, it got it got a kick out of me. It, it, I was tickled pink. It was nice, but they just over fucking did it, and did it, and did it, and it did it, and did five it. Seconds every five seconds. Christ Almighty! And That's literally all he did the whole segment. Abraham Washington would start talking about something. He would start. Ah, ah. Then Abraham Washington would call out a guest. Ah, ah. Abraham Washington would take a piss. <laughs> Abraham Washington release over a Kobe rape joke. <laughs> yeah. It fucking brutal. Brutal. But this is what you guys voted for. This is what you get. <laughs> the, this pairing lasted all the way up until ECW folded in January 2010. My God, what a run. Did we make it five minutes? <laughs> 6.51. Yeah. Um, I, I really don't know what else to say about this. This was a... Uh, I feel like they were trying to capitalize on the popularity of the Ron Simmons dam. Now, the difference is the Ron Simmons dam thing was actually fucking funny. 